The long overdue metamorphosis of Derek, a beloved character from the television series, was eventually given in Teen Wolf the movie. In contrast to his anti-hero bad boy portrayal in the program, his role in this movie is different. Instead, the new film depicts a more experienced Derek who is more concerned with raising his son, who is developing werewolf abilities. The change in eye color towards the conclusion of the movie shows how mature he has become. Derek's werewolf journey has been challenging, taking place more than 10 years after the events of the first Teen Wolf storyline. His eyes have turned blue ever since the serial finished, signifying a beta who has murdered an innocent person. Due to Derek's merciless murdering of his girlfriend, Paige, the area became blue. Derek's red eyes before his death proved he was always an alpha in Teen Wolf. Derek's eyes shift from blue to red when he gives his life to slay the Najitsun, a change that occurs when a werewolf becomes an alpha. The werewolf species' alphas are regarded as the strongest individuals. Their abilities originate from the alpha spark, which most frequently appears through inheritance or theft, by eliminating an alpha. Derek first turned into an alpha after killing his uncle Peter, but in the Teen Wolf movie's climax, he turns into a true alpha, the most uncommon breed of werewolf. Before Derek's honorary death, his title as a real alpha seemed to briefly recover, since he accomplished something honorable and with all of his strength. Derek makes comparable sacrifices for the people he loves throughout the entire series. How Derek's eye color change continued 18 Wolf Trend. The eyes of supernatural beings can be identified by their type, rank, and power by their hue. Derek has undergone the most eye color changes in the entire series. His original hue was yellow, which is the dominant hue of Beta Wolves. Then, after becoming an alpha in season 1, they become blue and red. He momentarily regains his yellow eye state after losing his alpha position and evolving into an evolved wolf before changing back to his original blue eyes. Despite the fact that Derek Hale's storyline appeared to be coming to an end, the film left a question about his son Eli's mother unresolved. The topic is not at all touched with in Teen Wolf the movie, but it might be in a future spin-off centered on Eli. Characters in the Teen Wolf universe don't typically die, thus Derek and his kid might someday get back together. Derek's death is tragic enough in isolation, but the fact that he is killed off in the same manner as his entire family is genuinely brutal. The character has only recently recovered from their loss, yet now introduces that exact same trauma to Eli. Eli's fate is one of the biggest unanswered questions in Teen Wolf the movie, and it doesn't help that he is now left with an arc that is remarkably similar to Derek's. Having only just come to develop his confidence as a werewolf, he loses his father, who has been a major figure in his life that he has never been able to live up to. To make matters worse, it is difficult to see where the franchise can really go after the death of Derek. The movie itself already proceeded without some pivotal main players, including Dylan O'Brien and Arden Cho. There are now even more main stars missing with Derek bowing out. Though Eli is still around to continue his legacy, it is hard to see what's next for every major Teen Wolf character. Eli has the opportunity to grow into a substantial character in the franchise, should Teen Wolf ever continue. Yet, after the backlash to Derek's death, it remains to be seen if Teen Wolf the movie ever sees a sequel.